Nissan takes you from your sofa to the racetrack with Le Mans Dreams. Le Mans Dreams. Over the next five weeks, we'll follow two computer gamers as they prepare for the race of their lives, the Le Mans 24 Hours. Lucas Ordonez and Jordan Tresson are past winners of the unique Nissan GT Academy. They beat over a million other PlayStation gamers to win the chance of becoming a professional racing driver. Last year, we followed their progress as they took their first steps from virtual to real racing. Now they've been given the keys to some of the fastest cars on the planet and face one of the world's toughest challenges. The Le Mans 24 hours is equivalent to driving an entire Formula One season in just one day. With 55 other cars on the track and copper temperatures approaching 60 degrees, it's a brutal test of man and machine. So let's meet our two gamers and find out how they got here. Hi, I'm Lucas Ordóñez, 26 years old, from Madrid, Spain. I'm the first GT Academy winner uh, in 2008, and now I'm driving for Gris Motorsport Nissan in the European Le Mans Series and uh, Le Mans 24 Hours. Hi, I'm uh, Jonathan Tresson, I'm 23. I won GT Academy in 2010, and this year I'm racing a Sinatra Nissan LMP2 car. In 2008, Lucas Ordonez was a young Spanish student when he won the first Nissan GT Academy. During the next three years, Lucas proved his talent and achieved an incredible podium finish at last year's Le Mans. Now he's looking to go one better with an outright win. Achieve that, and he's got a racing career for life. Standing in his way is the talented young Frenchman Jordan Tresson. Jordan was the next gamer to graduate from GT Academy. After winning his category in last year's Blancpain Endurance Series, he's earned a place at this year's Le Mans. Not only that, but Jordan's taken Lucas's seat in the strong Nissan Senior Tech team. So while our GT Academy graduates might have followed similar paths and while they might be friends off the track, when the race starts, they will be fierce rivals. For the first time ever, two computer gamers driving real cars in the greatest endurance race of them all. Welcome to GT Academy Le Mans Dreams. For many racing drivers, competing at the Le Mans 24-hour race will always remain a distant dream, but for a chosen few, that dream becomes reality. Lucas Ordonez is living his dream for the second year running. He'll be returning this year with a new teammate and a rather special teammate as well. Nearly four years ago, uh, I was a normal student. Uh, from Spain and uh, in 2008 I won the, the European final of uh, Nissan GT Academy. It's been a dream, no? Uh, everyone who plays at PlayStation at home uh, will never imagine that a game can be a professional driver and we prove it, no? Well, Lucas Odenef has shown that great gamers really can progress from their PlayStations to real-life cars. This year he drives with Greaves Motorsport and a brand new teammate. This year, uh, Nissan put me in the Griffiths Motorsport Nissan for, for Le Mans 24 hours. I'm really, really happy you know, in the team. I feel from the first day uh, really welcome from all the team. This year, I have a very special teammate, uh, Martin Brandel, ex Formula One driver and Le Mans winner. Winning Le Mans is a culmination of so much work and energy and dedication, commitment by so many people. When you're standing on the podium and looking down, the crowd are going crazy, and, uh, and you, you know that it's a moment you'll never forget. It's fantastic to, to be part uh, with him in Le Mans 24 hours, and for sure with his son, Alex Brandel. It's an exciting challenge. It's a fantastic venue, a sense of, of mystery and occasion. Uh, about the racetrack uh, and I can't wait to get going uh, for the Le Mans weekend. With teammates like uh, the ones I have this year, you know, it's, it's, it's really, really a good experience for me and we are working really hard to win Le Mans this year. 
Every race team is different. Lucas is going to have to learn quickly with just five weeks until the month. Every race is an opportunity to tune the car. And his first real test with his new team was at the first round of the European Le Mans series at the famous Paul Ricard circuit in the south of France. We are here in Paul Ricard in France in the first race of the 2012 season, European Le Mans Series and try to win. At the circuit we have about 15 people, all with a very important role. There's obviously tyres to look after the car, the data system, the engineering of the car, strategy. The team doesn't operate unless everyone does the job required of them. And there is quite a lot of pressure, but we just keep calm and it's the best way to get the job done. We want to be as quick as we, we can, but not making a mistake, because at the end of the day, it's the car that spends the least time in the pit lane will win the race. 20 minutes, great flag. All right, let's go to start tires, please. We start on P3. It's a six hours race, so I think we are really strong to fight for the podium and why not for the win. We've done the second pit stop. We are now currently leading the race. We are now leading by about a minute. Lucas has taken an unusual route with the PlayStation and stuff, but it's great to have him on board for this season. <laughs> to have him on board is, is quite special, I think. I always dreamed to become a racing driver. That opportunity came. Now I'm trying to enjoy as much as possible and to learn every day in a racetrack. OK, Lucas, pit this time, pit this time. Everything looks OK. Here we go. I did a two-hour stint, two double stint in, in the car. It went well, leading the, the race, went to the pit uh, to change the drivers with Alex. Alex got in the car and ran wide. And Bodywork came up. Front left fence to the garage. Lots of all left of Luba. And now, unfortunately, we, we got a two minutes penalty because we did not uh, make a good pit stop. When you fuel in, you're not allowed to touch the car, so we got an infringement or a penalty. Now we P4 and, and trying to, to get a podium finish. We finished fourth. Uh, disappointed finish uh, for the team, but we know we've got the best. We we know we got the the lineup and can't wait to to fight for the win in, in the next race. We've got some good points with fourth here. It's not a disaster and uh, we hope to do better in the future. The adrenaline in a race car is absolutely amazing. No? Uh, it's a great feeling. It's a really tough sport, but uh, we love it. I just hoping to win the European Le Mans series and to fight for the win in Le Mans 24 hours. For me, there's only one thing I, I love to do, no? and it's driving. Well, after a two-minute penalty, the team just missed out on a podium spot by 10 seconds. But if they drew that quick at Le Mans, they stood a good chance of winning their class. To compete at home in your country's greatest event is always a special day for any sportsman. For Jordan Tresson, that dream will come true. Currently driving with the Senior Tech Nissan team in the World Endurance Championship with an all-French team. Jordan won the Nissan GT Academy in 2010, quickly proving his ability in the driver's seat, winning the GT4 category in the Spa 24 hours and winning his class in the Blancpain Endurance Series all year long. I've not been particularly nervous about driving in Le Mans because it's it's Le Mans, obviously, but it's just a 24-hour race. So I did three so far. I won one, finished on podium on two. So 
I hope it will be the same in Le Mans this year. I feel well prepared after the time we had in Brittany with uh, my teammates Frank and Olivier. We had really a good time all together. It was quite nice to have some small challenges between us. I think we are all looking forward to Le Mans. Uh, we have the Spa race to come before Le Mans, so it would be good to have, we we'll say, last preparation for Le Mans, and then the Le Mans test day to be fully ready. But uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Le Mans is so special because uh, it's really the most well-known 24-hour race. It's, we we'll say, the track is quite challenging also and you have a lot of very good cars uh, racing. So um, for a Frenchman, especially in a French team, Le Mans is something very special. Le Mans is the oldest, toughest and most famous endurance race on the planet. And this year, two GT Academy winners are not only competing against each other, but Jordan will be driving Lucas's former car with Senior Tech. Will this distract the drivers then as they prepare mentally and physically for the enormous challenge that the Le Mans 24-hour race provides. Jordan has uh, stepped up this year to LMP2, uh, as I did last year from, from GT4, so uh, he's doing a, a good job, no? Uh, he's going to be a, a tough competitor, a tough team to beat in, in Le Mans 24 hours, of, of course. They are really strong. Uh, lineup and, and a really good team. Lucas is driving a different car this year, so I don't think the knowing the the car I am currently driving will be helpful for him. There's no big advantage. It's just uh, experience and knowledge about both cars and and to share that information with with the team. Of course, he knows the team, but uh, also the team knows him, so they might know his weak weakness and so on, so he can help me also. Last year we were the fastest with Signa Technician team uh, on track. We were the, the fastest on qualifying with the pole position. Finished second, which has still been a really good pressure, but not win. The team has to build a very good car. The drivers have to be perfect in the car, and uh, if we manage to achieve that, yeah, I'm sure we can aim for a podium or victory. The goal is, is to win Le Mans 24 hours, and that's the, the objective for 2012. Lucas is more experienced, so he has an advantage on me. But, uh, you know, uh, we'll see Le Mans how it's like, and uh, I'll do my best to, to challenge him and to beat him. Uh, I wish him the best, but uh, not the win at Le Mans. <laughs>